này đây. Không cái nướng cái kiểu này các bạn. Đây là cũng thấy là sợ nữa rồi. Here we go. Now we have the whole rat here. Let's try it. Hmm. It's basically chicken. So we're on our way to uh, Mien Tây, to Kanto right now, and our car. <laughs> Had to stop on the highway here because we ran out of gas. Uh, we just stopped by, so we jumped over the fence over there. Just um, um, asked the local here for some gas, but they didn't have any. So one of the uh, little kids here, they're gonna go and buy some gas for us. They're just so good people. Now, năm nay bao tuổi rồi? Tám lăm. Ủa, mở bà tám lăm mới hả? Tám sáu. Tám sáu tuổi rồi. Wow. She's 86 years old and she's so kind, you know, there's a little kid here and she's like, you know, go buy some gas for them, you know, it's like, take the uh, motorbike, get some bottles and go get some gas. And it's like, oh, that's so sweet. And it's just, you know, a random stranger that we met here and we asked for help. Uh, and she's like, are you hungry? I'm like, sure, I'll take some, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, that's how nice people are in Vietnam and mostly in this region. Just, beautiful good people that's it and typically this is how their houses are laid out here down this uh, western um, southern region of Vietnam so basically you have this you know this little deck out here so they can chill you know escape the heat a little you know hang out and then uh, you would have this dining table here so they, they sit outside they have dinner and lunches outside it's much cooler and then that there's always an altar for the ancestors, you know, like um, veneration and all. Bánh này là bánh gì bà? Bánh tét hả? Bánh nhà làm hả? Ở nhà làm cái này bánh cắt. Bánh cắt là bánh cắt nó là có gì trong đó là bà? Không, không có nhân. Không có nhân hả? À, thiếu nhân rồi. Còn bánh này là bánh tét nè, cái này nhân đậu, này nhân chuối, ăn đi con. Dạ. Này ăn sao ta? Đại đi cắn đại đi. Cắn đại nha. Ừ. So cái này là nhân chuối hả bà? Nhân chuối. This is uh, has banana filling inside. That's why you get that um that that purple. Giờ không kêu nghe chú kia vô nữa. So look at the, the, the I don't know why. Sao cái chuối nó nó sao màu tím vậy bà mà không phải màu vàng ha? Chuối này là màu đỏ mà. Chuối màu đỏ hả? Ờ. Chuối xiêm mà. Ừ. Chuối xiêm hả? Ừ. Là xiêm là Thái Lan á hả? Mm. Man, I am so touched. You know, she gave me a bunch of these, and I already gave, and I already gave some to my uh, family over there in the car. But uh, just, I am touched by her kindness. This is so incredible. Yeah. This is the guy, this is the little kid that went and bought gas for us. Thank you. It's just gorgeous over here. The weather is perfect. It's not humid at all. It's not too hot. It's just right. And I love it. And we just checked into the four-star resort with a beautiful pool, beautiful hotel and room. And now we're at Luan Neb, which is another resort here, which is 10 minutes away only from our hotel. And it's just gorgeous here. I mean, it's riverside. I mean, you cannot beat this view. You know, they have amazing food here, and the restaurants over there look incredible. It looks so Vietnamese, so traditional, and you will love the food here. So let's go explore together, shall we? Let's go. This is called Go Ki in Vietnamese. Uh, basically, means monkey bridge because there's only one or two, you know, bamboos um, to go across, and you gotta make really careful steps, otherwise you just fall. And probably break your neck and you know ruin your tent. Màu đó là cái màu gì của cái gì màu bà? Của nghệ. nghệ hả? Ồ. Oh. Xong rồi có tép rồi có đậu xanh, hành lá. 
Có nước dừa không hay gì? Có nước dừa Thơm quá Cái này là xào để nhân bánh xèo cơ Ồ Ồ chắc phải chơi cái bánh xèo quá Ồ. Em đi lên lấy cái cháu chị đi Lấy cái xìa Ờ lấy cái thao Lên cảnh chỗ tủ đông đó Nó xin cách cháu Thôi, wow. nhìn ngon quá, chắc chắn là phải mua một cái Ngon quá Bưng con trai ơi Isn't this amazing though? It takes a whole lot of skill. It takes about four to five months to uh, actually learn how to do it. And then it takes forever to perfect it. And this guy has done it forever. <laughs> Very skilled. So the texture and the flavor, basically like a, a plain donut, but it's fluffy and there's nothing on the inside. It's just like all fluffed up because of all the hot air inside. But it tastes like a donut. Uh, and not as sugary, but it's just exactly like that. And then there's some, uh, they're gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on, on the very top of the, uh, the dough balls right over there. Yeah, just like that. Very good. Very crispy, very crunchy, donutty in a way. <laughs> Cái này làm gì anh? Cái bánh tráng hả? Bánh tráng người sống Bánh tráng các bạn cũng như là bánh như là thơm thì lá được rồi đó Vào mùi thơm lắm luôn Đây là món canh chua cáo bông lâu nha các bạn This is basically just this burnt rice on the bottom of the pot But now it's a dish. Just dip it in with any kind of sauce. Any dipping sauce you want. Alright, this is my first time trying um, rice field rats in southern Vietnam. Let's give it a try. Let's try it. It's like pearl meat. Nhóm thịt chim cút á. Nhóm thịt bồ câu chim cút đồ. It's like pearl meat and uh, pigeon meat. It's very crispy on the outside. Mm. The meat, again, tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken, man. <laughs> um, it's very bony. Um, tiny little bit of, of meat. But the seasoning is very good, the deep fry is very good. Wow, it's very strange. <laughs> here we go, now we have the whole rat here. Let's try it. Oh my god. Hmm. It's basically chicken. It's just chicken dark meat. That's it. It tastes like well, tastes like pigeon. Tastes like chicken. There's a lot of uh, this is this one is grilled, so there's a lot of like chili and uh, salt seasoning on top. But th that's basically it. Mm. There's barely any meat on it. Mong quá. Ủa mà đi về là ghé qua Bình Dương luôn hay sao? Hai má. All right, now we're trying the Vietnamese crepes here. We saw how it's done right in front of us. Uh, it's just right there, 20 feet up away from the table. And uh, how you eat it is you, you wrap it up with the uh, the collard green, and you wrap it up with the collard green, and then you put a bunch of like wild herbs in there, some basil too sometimes. It's really good. It's really fresh. For the filling, I see some uh, hickama, some green beans, some of the tiny shrimps. 
meat sometime and you dip it in the uh, dipping sauce right over here. Eat it. Wow. This is one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes of all time. So fresh and healthy. Incredibly good. It's available in the United States too. It's about $10 to uh, $15 for a Vietnamese crepe like that. So good, you have to try it. It's, it's special here. Woo! <laughs> Animals love me, check. Kids love me, check. Hello. 